What's up, Lollipop? My name is Joe, and in today's video of 10 things I want to see in the new upcoming iOS 15 that Apple will announce in this year's WWDC on June 6th. Apple has announced that WWDC is happening on June 6th, so I want to see new improvements to iOS. They always bring us some new features. Now, I have my own wish lists, and this is what I think iOS 15 should get this year. Now, obviously, there are many, many improvements year over year, but these are the top 10 things that I would want to see in iOS 15, starting with number one, passcode protection for all of the applications. Some of the apps do this, but not because of Apple, but because of the developers. You have WhatsApp, you have Messenger. They are available to use Face ID and a passcode to enter into the application. Now, I want to see this happen to all of the native apps on iPhone. Messages, notes, photos. I want to keep my photos and everything secure and let me set a passcode different than what is my iPhone passcode. Let it be my face ID, my touch ID, something we want, at least I want, passcode options for all of the applications on your phone. Number two, profiles for time of day. There are things that can be shown on your iPhone thanks to Siri shortcuts or Siri suggestions, but those are lame. I want profiles. I want a work profile and a personal profile. Let's say when I go to work, all of my Facebook, my YouTube, my Instagram, TikTok apps are gone from my home screen and I have my numbers, I have my business contacts, I have my stocks apps, whatever I need, whatever I use during my work hours, that is in focus. My email applications, my calendar applications, everything. And when my job finishes, I get, get to set the time. Obviously, when it finishes, I can switch back to a personal profile. And in that personal profile, again, social media is in front, again, different training apps and dietary apps. It's not a mixture of your work and personal life, it's separated. So you feel that, yes, when you are at home, you're using a different phone and you're not concentrating on work, you're using time for yourself on social media. Well, I don't know. But still, you get the gist. What about if there would be a holiday profile, just like with Do Not Disturb when you sleep, turns off all the notifications, I can set it to go to holiday. Five days away, boom, holiday mode. Transportation apps, I don't know, um, traffic apps, whatever, airplane, airline apps, whatever I use when I go traveling. It's going to be in the front, my camera app, maybe a different video app, photo sharing app, all the things that you do when you're on vacation. And once you're done, you can revert it back to your classical personal profile. But when you're resting, when you're on vacation, you need to turn off your email and just get rid of it. Don't get a new phone, just put on a new profile. That's what I really, really wish for. Number three, a better Siri. Let's face it, Siri sucks. Siri needs a lot of work. Siri is lacking behind Google Assistant and Alexa. Up the game, we want more. Number four, you have an iPhone XS Max, you have an iPhone 11 Pro Max, you have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. There is space, tremendous amounts of space. Why can't we have split screen apps? Android does it for years now. Why doesn't Apple do it? Even MKBHD says that iPhone 12 Pro Max is a poor use of space, and it is. It's a very poor use of space. So Apple, up your game, split screen apps now. I wanna drive and watch YouTube at the same time. Five, I know Apple thinks that they know us, but with this, I think they really don't. I don't know how much of you guys actually use the app library. I use it, but never the little follows part. I'm confused. I have my own system. I don't need Apple to put together the system for me. When I go to the app library, I immediately go to the list. I want the list view to be the default. That's it. List view, default, easy, easy to understand. You don't need to go through all those folders. No, I want to find an app. If I would want folders, I would have folders. I don't need your folders, Apple. I want the list view. Number six, a clipboard history. How many times have you been like, okay, I need to paste this code in here, 
and then go back and then, oh no, no, I need to paste this over here again. And then you go back. No, how about I copy something, then I copy another thing, and then I can go back in my clipboard history and get that original copy and put it in there again. Small thing, very doable, but it would just excel the experience of the iPhone. Number seven, I love my control center, but I rarely use majority of the top part. I wanna customize the control center the way I use it, the apps I want to see in there. If I wanna put a YouTube in there, let me put that in there. If I wanna switch the calculator app or the camera app that's there to the camera app I use on my phone, let me switch it. I want to customize the control center fully the way I want. End of story. Control center customization would be a great thing. Number eight, Apple showed us that they can do it. Let's see if they can push it now. I'm talking about widgets. Last year, they introduced iOS widgets for us. Now, the problem is that they're not interactive, so you cannot touch it and do stuff out on your home screen. The moment you touch a widget, it takes you into the application. So, you know, if you have a test lab, you can't really, you get the gist. I wanna use a widget because I don't wanna go into the app. Fix it, Apple. Also, I want more widgets. How about giving me more and more widgets? I know this is not Apple per se. Developers, up your game. We need more widgets. Number nine, lock screen widgets. Exactly, you have beautiful little icons and widgets on Apple Watch. Why can't we have those small widgets put out onto the lock screen? I wanna see my weather on my lock screen. I wanna see my activity rings on my lock screen. I wanna see more things. If widgets are available on the home screen, make them available on the lock screen, but small, not so big. It's too much, I don't need big, I want small. A lot of things on one phone, more information, that would be useful. And finally, um, I don't know how many people have this problem, I have it regularly. My iPhone and iPad are obviously connected by my iCloud account. And I have app downloads turned on. So if I download something on my iPhone, it downloads on my iPad. The problem is, it doesn't delete. So if I delete an app on my iPhone, it doesn't delete from my iPad. I'm not saying it should, but I would love to have the option. I would love to have the option if maybe I mistakenly downloaded an application that I didn't want because it happened, and then it downloaded on my iPad as well, so now I have to get my iPad and delete it from there too. I just go click on the app, app I say delete, and then there would be an option. Delete from iPhone or delete from all of your devices. Boom, delete from all of your devices. And then you can synchronize the applications on both device. Very easy to do, I think. Or, I don't know, I'm not a programmer, but Apple, come on. Universal deletion between devices. Easy very handy and keeps everything nice, sophisticated and simple. So these are my top 10 things on what I would like to see in iOS 15. I wanna know what you guys think. Hit me down in the comment section below. Let me know and until my next video, stay safe and hang loose.